You might be wondering, what am I doing in this location around such massive and unique and interesting looking vehicles that are making me look very small and insignificant right now? Well, today we are doing a prep day for a Sidemen shoot. It is the food truck video. It's basically like a road trip with food mixed into it. Mmm, my favorite. This video is sponsored by Squarespace. Build your brand, connect with your audience, and sell anything on your terms. Make it happen with Squarespace. This is a very cool place. It's an undisclosed location. I'm not allowed to reveal where it is. It's top secret. This is where all the big movie sets come to to rent their vehicles. Think of these vehicles as background extras. No, actually, some of these are like the main actors of movies. Think Terminator and that big truck down the down the water dam, yeah? Like they would have got it from a place like this. Look, you want a school bus for your movie? You can get it here. Police vehicle, a Hummer limousine, police van. I got told this ambulance was starred in Grey's Anatomy. Then we have this big thing. Uh, it's got a water cannon on top of it and it can actually pump. I'm not gonna say squirt because you guys will go hee hee hee. It can pump loads of water out just like I can into your mum. Yeah, honestly, this place is incredible. It is a movie buff stream. That is what we're dealing with. This is just one out of the two vehicles, inbred sausages. This is team one. And this is vehicle number two. We've got JJ, Simon, and Ethan on this team. And their team name is Eat Our Meat. Well, that might not be their team name, but their slogan is Eat Our Meat. So yeah, our job today is to rig these two vehicles up with cameras. We've got a couple of Sony mirrorless cameras that we're putting up on the dash, and we've got a bunch of GoPros as well. About 30 GoPros. All right, so when it comes to a shoot like this, let me show you the type of kit that we're planning to rig up around the vehicle. This Peli contains about 27 GoPros, and then obviously we need enough power for them, so we've got a bunch of batteries. Mm. Then we have a bunch of battery charging cases. This is essential for when it comes to charging such a large amount of batteries. You can literally hook these up to one USB power supply and charge up to 30 batteries in one go. Then I have a bunch of MPF batteries. These are going to be very useful for powering our external wireless monitors because we're having a wireless feed transmitted from the cabin of the vehicle into our follow film vehicles. And that is going to be made possible by today's newest gadget, which is the DJI SDR transmission combo. These are brand new transmission devices from DJI. They're like these little units. You pop a battery into the back like so. There you go. You can get smaller batteries. I just haven't got any. Uh, HDMI feed goes into the camera. And then on the other end, you have a monitor with another unit plugging into the monitor and then that will transmit a wireless signal. Another thing making up the bulk of our kit today are attachments, specifically things like suction cups, clamps, and more suction cups. So in this bag alone, we have big suction, 20. We have 20 suction cups, and these are great because these have a pump. So uh, you put them onto the surface you're working with, you pump away, and it sucks all of the air out, making the suction super, super strong. So the reason I put a bit of gaffer tape on is firstly, to know what we're carrying with us. And secondly, at the end of the shoot, when it comes to packing the bags, I know that I have to expect 18 of these back into my camera bag because they're not cheap, okay? So these metal suction cups, they're about 70 quid a suction cup. Crazy, right? And these are probably, I think these are like 20, 25 quid a suction cup. In this bag, I have FX3. Because I don't want everything to be shot on the GoPro, uh, I do like to level up some of the cameras and say, for example, the middle dash camera, I want it to be shot on a Sony just because it provides a much more superior image than what a, an action camera can. So in the cabin, and when I talk about the cabin, I mean like the front where the boys will sit. Uh, we're going to have one of these in the middle, one of these in the middle as a backup, and then two GoPros on the side and then one at the back looking at the road. And that's a total of four cameras in the cabin with the Sony FX3 being the main star. Uh, we have something that we can st <laughs> stick onto. <laughs> I'll show you what I mean. So like this thing, this is made from wood, right? So you can't suction anything. You can't really clamp anything to it. So I'm hoping to stick this in and then use some screws and drills to drill through this plastic into the wood and then they get held up here like so. So we'll, we'll do that later. And because today is our only day to set up, just so we avoid any problems, I like to bring more than I need. Obviously for power solutions, I have my Anchor devices. It provides USB power. Shout out to Anchor, love them. Now for the dash cam, let me run you through of the setup for that. So we're gonna need a mirrorless camera. 
in this instance, we're using the FX3 full frame camera. Amazing. Oh, I got myself a new toy. This lens, I've actually been wanting it for a while. It's from a company called Lauer, and they um, I already have one of their lenses. It's like the Thin Probe lens. I got that years ago, and they've just released this one. It's a 10 mil full frame, zero distortion lens. Now, the zero distortion is very important because when you get wide lenses, often images look too fisheye because they weren't really designed in a proper way for that sensor. Whether it's this, that's what you pay the big bucks for, and it's f2.8. I'll tell you what, before we move forward, can we put that to a little test? Yeah, should we put it on now? I was going to say, so yeah. this is, hang on, so... Take your lens off. So I've just taken Jack's lens off and I've put the one that you guys have just been looking at. How wide is it? Pretty wide. Pretty wide? Are you talking about me or the shot? Uh, for once, <laughs> the shot. A little bit of column A and column B. Yeah, so this is what Jack was using. It's a six... It's a very, very nice lens. Very, very expensive and nice lens. This is what we use for sideman shoots. How does it look? Pretty cool, right? Yeah, you look, look I can get up right in your face and you can probably still see my whole head, right? Yeah. <laughs> Are you got any games on your phone? Unfortunately. Yeah. All right, I think it's time to start rigging up the cameras on the dashboard. You know what? The FX3 itself has a decent amount of mounting points, but when you add a cage, it gives you even more options. And I do love having those options. So like, for example, this one, see these uh, clamps? They've got these two little things sticking out. They actually go in here. And then that way the thing doesn't spin out. So this is a fiddly process, but we'll get there in the end. I kind of want to center it so it's got all three of them here. So that looks good to me. I love this pump action. You just pump it and you can guarantee that is solid, but that's not going nowhere. Yeah, that's nice. So am I in shot there? Can you see Jack? Am I in shot? You're in shot, so am I. Can I see like, can you see this? Camera one, done. So we have our transmitter and our receiver. The receiver plugs into the monitor, like so. So that's the setup. This will sit in the follow vehicle. We'll hopefully be able to like clamp this up to the back of a headrest or something. Any second now, we should be able to get a signal. There you go, you're upside down. There you down. go, I am upside down. Oh, and these suction cups are actually incredible. Not only do they provide good stability to the rest of the camera, but they've got mounting points on the side of them, like on the side here. So Jack has cleverly got a little magic arm here and he's attached a wireless feed uh, to the suction cup itself, which is pretty goddamn smart. <laughs> We're in car number two. I've mounted the camera. Um, this one felt easier to mount here. I don't know what it is. Is it because we've done it before? I don't know if it's because we've done it before. This lens is incredible, by the way. Yeah. It's getting a proper view of like the doors and stuff. Nice. It was even a bit too wide. So what I did, I put active stabilization on. So hopefully this lens should even give us a more smoother image. So we can we can compare the two the two teams at the end of the day. Right, I'm very happy with this. Let's crack on. Welcome to the burger van. Well, come on, don't be shy. Plenty of room here. And this is the team that me and Jack are going to be with on the day. So what's the plan? We're going to rig up a bunch of cameras in here. So no matter where you turn, there will be a camera facing you covering all the action because it's quite tough to film in a burger van. Imagine there's three people here plus a cameraman. I don't think that's going to work. I think a cameraman is going to film from out of the door and out of the vehicle, basically. Yeah, a little service hatch. So I'm thinking, what's the main thing we need to do? We need to capture the interaction between the boys and the customers. So uh, I want to put a GoPro in the corner there, in the corner of this lid. Uh, so that's facing the boys. Then we need probably a camera like eye level to where people are going to be served up, maybe even here, like that. We take, oh, is that the other one back? The sausage van is back. Sausage van is back. Sausage van had its tires changed, and now this one is going to go and get a tire change. Weather's taken a turn for the worse. It's pissing down. The burger van is back from the tire shop. We've got a fresh set of wheels on it. We're going to rig it up with cameras, do our last checks, mount our exterior cameras, and call it a day. You step into the van and uh, say, for example, you're serving people here. You've got a camera that will capture people coming up. So the customers, then you've got camera one and two facing the boys at all times. We've got a corner one here, corner one on this side. So that is a total of one, two, three, four. Ah, I forgot. We're going to have an overhead here Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten cameras just inside of this food truck plus the cabin, we've got another four cameras. One of them is an FX3 that gets the same angle as one of the GoPros for backup. Um, but yeah, and then we've got two exterior cameras, boom. And the purpose of this is to get 
some like shots like this so you can get to see the direction that the van's going and ultimately capture some reactions from uh, passers-by. Hopefully we'll have loads of cool reactions. Taking care of all these cameras is a lot of work, but building a website doesn't have to be. With Squarespace, you get all the tools you need to create something professional, fast, and simple. Whether you need a portfolio, an online store, or just a space to share your ideas, they've got you covered. Squarespace gives you everything you need to create a website that represents you or your brand. Their design intelligence offers personalized design suggestions based on your brand, making website creation fast and effortless. And if you run a business that takes bookings, whether you're a barber, personal trainer, or photographer, Squarespace has built-in appointment management to streamline your schedule and sync with calendars like Google or Outlook. And when it's time to get paid, Squarespace's payment system handles it all. From physical products to digital services, Services with 24 7 support to ensure everything runs smoothly. Start building your dream website today with a free trial over at squarespace.com. And once you're happy and ready to launch, visit squarespace.com forward slash Constantine to get 10% of your first domain or website purchase. It's been five hours and 41 minutes since I've rolled my mic, which is when we got here to location. So almost a six hour shift rigging up the cameras between me and Jack. We could have probably done it quicker, but we stayed organized on the way. So the way that the cameras are labeled, the way that the memory cards are labeled, are gonna ensure that we have like a very smooth process when it comes to collecting the kit and then handing over data to the post-production team. So we also haven't eaten anything today and we're staying overnight in Reading and we don't have any food with us, which brings us to a very exciting opportunity which I've been looking forward to all day. We're gonna go get some food, but not just any old food. We're gonna go and do a food challenge in this place that do crazy big burritos. So there's like a five pound burrito that me and Jack are gonna five dig into. Five pound not cost, by the way. Yeah, how much is it actually? What, 25, 25 quid? quid? I think that's a good amount for something that weighs five pounds. Um, I'm looking forward to it. Let's order a cab uh, and let's head over to Reading for the food challenge. We'll meet Kirsty there as well. Does this make you think about consider divorce? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's the technique to eating these? They're just dry as hell. Just shove them in your face or take, take him up on his offer of some sour cream or something. More calories. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Wouldn't want that, would you? Wouldn't want... <laughs> oh, no, not a little dab of, dab of sour cream. All right, it is now the shoot date. The crew is all here. Can I get a whoop whoop? All right. Enthusiasm. Yeah, it's going to be sick. The teams are inbreds right here and eat our meat, me and you. And then you're with Toby all day. The plan is, like on every road trip video, what we do. Am I wearing hiking boots? Hell yeah, I'm wearing hiking boots. Yeah, I didn't want to get wet because it's raining and stuff like that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to make people aware I have hiking boots so they can, you know, that they know. Yeah, so as soon as the vans get here, we have to get cinematics ASAP because every other department has a ton of stuff to do. Once they've done that, they're going to cover the vans up. Yeah, so they need to be covered up as like a surprise and get unveiled. The reason the vans are late right now is unknown. Okay, I need to set up this tripod. And now team's cut off. <laughs> James, are you all right just to keep getting cinematics? and Because yeah, yeah, yeah. we're sorting a bunch of stuff. Sorry, grab that bag, thank you. John, it's a ratchet strap for you if you need it. Can I walk you through the cameras here, John? Um, yeah. Do you want to check your GoPro framing as well, just in case they've moved? Yeah, you need to check all the framing on all of them. Our, our one Is there anything you're feeling uh, like you need me to chat to you about? Yeah, so how does this turn off? You and John need to hook up your iPad now. Just No, it's hooked up, just check the feed. Can I have a listen? Bluetooth connected to. Talk? I have no idea. Oh, very nice. So, oh, this speaker's really cool. Do you know what this speaker is? It's like a little... Oh, that's dope. Yeah. Yeah, the only thing I haven't checked yet, which you could possibly check quickly, is that microphone there. If you go speak into it, and let me see if it picks up on here. There you go. Sorry, I'm just checking this wireless feed before they cover. Yes! What was, um, what did you do to make it work? How are you? How's it going? Yeah, good, thank you. Um, thank you very much, you do as well. The boys are starting to come through. 
we're already rigged up to go. We've got Louis on the drone. This is the guy that captured the infamous shot of Ethan walking down the stairs to the music. The da -da 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 -da. Put it on screen right now. Right. Put it on screen right now. You guys should know the video I'm talking about is from Among Us when Ethan's walking down the stairs. Great drone work, mate. Oh, We're looking much. to get some more iconic shots today, if possible. So um, be, be in that mindset, like every shot that I'm taking could potentially be an iconic moment that sits on the internet forever. I mean, part, part of it is down to them to do something cool, yep. but a lot of it is also down to you to capture that moment and find that happening. So yeah, well done, Louis. That oh, was a- Thanks so much, if they were I appreciate to, it. If there were to do end of year awards, the most like funnest shot would probably go to you. Oh, no way. Yeah, yeah. No freaking yeah. way. Yeah. But it's also Chip Fat who put it in the edit as well. So big credit to him. Big credit to And he put uh, like the text there and the good music to it. Like it was a great edit. So combine all those ingredients together and you had that lovely masterpiece. Well done, Fat Chip. Well done, Fat, fat Chip. Chip. No, it's Chip Fat. Oh, Chip Fat. Fat Chip. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he'll become if he doesn't exercise. Okay, sidemen, please line up yeah. oh, over here. Two, one. Welcome oh. to Sidemen Food Truck Road Trip. Yeah. Okay, yeah, we know Josh, that. Simon, you are the captains. Let's go, champ. Your challenge today, to make as many cells as possible. The oh. team with the most cells at the end of the day, win. Eat oh. 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 yeah, yeah, baby. Cool, That's very cool. cool. Reveal. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Cameras have now rolled up. Uh, the Sony is rolling up as well. Please go around the car. We have broken down. Put the hats on if you can. They're just on the back. We're back. I think that's all. Oh, this is shit, lads. Let's go. Oh my god, the microwave's fucked. All the food's fucked. All right, you guys got a clean up job to do first. Don't worry, you can get it back up on the road. I've got faith. Orange. Yeah, burgers. I'm on a Right. What if you bought a bunch of burgers from a different place? There isn't. There's a McDonald's right there. Yeah, there is. Yeah, we can go buy 10, 10 burgers from McDonald's. Jack, I'm going with JJ and Ethan. Plain burgers. <laughs> Hamburger. There it is. We'll take everything off here. Customize. That's all done. All right. This has fucking cost me money. Yeah, sorry. Man. Make that fucking money. Right, right. That's a couple of sales. We have the burgers. <laughs> Sales. Yes! Put some ketchup on them and get them gone. Yeah, ten. ten. Yeah. We've got a free burger with your name on it right now. Free burger. Yeah, come on then. Finn. Finn. We've got no left, okay. just two left. Awesome. We have officially done our first stop. It was like a retail park. There was a DFS in the background. Um, none of the stuff worked everything in the van, because they went over the speed bumps at such a fast speed, everything was just a mess in the truck and it was on the floor, they had to clean it up. How was it, Jack? It was a freaking mess, mate, it was a disaster. And now we're on our way to Slough. I'm pretty impressed by this setup, so I showed you guys yesterday, but look, we've got our screen with the transmitter and I brought a speaker with me. So we can actually hear everything they're saying in the car. Approved? Approved. Approved. Nice one. What other flavours don't you have? You do? I go for it. This one? His <laughs> face! <laughs> do you want this? Central tea, bro. Thank you. Bye. Excuse me, Ian, I'm gonna come for it. Oh, can I sit in there and film it? Oh, yeah, you can. No. Nice. Yeah, let's pull up. Eh? I don't know, it's a bit of a shit car here. Yeah. No, no, it's calm. Go right behind you. Yeah, yeah, just here, here. Just go. Four, four, four. down, still my feet. I went from living. Give us a burger! Whoa, I see it. It's not the scene. All right. Thank you. All right. Thank you, boys. Oh, 
here for? A burger? Well, you're supposed to be on job. Go on, grab a burger. I think there's, I think there's some there for Korea as well, mate. What's going on now? You, you boys packing down? We're packing down. We've got 20 minutes to get there. Yeah, which is a lot, it's only five minutes away, but the van doesn't work. This is boiling with oil. We've got a lot of mess. We want to be ready for the next location. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, sorry. I didn't see. Nearly lost you Yeah. I knew what I was doing. Uh, I used to do stunt double for Jason Statham. Pretty much just done a meet and greet there in Slough. Uh, was in another retail park. I had good fun there. Um, I haven't eaten yet. Like, I can smell the burgers. They smell good. Uh, I want to try one, I think. After yesterday's burrito, I don't think I should eat, be eating anything today, though. I should go in and roll up on there. Fuck you now. It's not too bad. There you go. And a happy days. I'll roll up on that. Camera's recording. This is the college bit. Okay, sidemen, can I get you in front of this van, please? Where I am. So, punch up a bit closer. Three, two, one. It's time for the final challenge. Okay. Oh. Final round. Yeah. You will go head to head. You will go head to head with each other. For the next head. Yes. For the next 30 minutes. Time starts now. Go. Ah. Hey, guys. Begin. Toby. Bang it. JJ, bang it. Like, bang it. What? Like, bang it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you like the burger? The burger's mint. Give me a review. The burger's mint. Let me have a look. It's dry. What do you mean the burger's mint? It's dry. Give me that fucking burger. The burger's dry. I don't want it. No, look. I don't want it. Oh, you're this nasty, bro. Oh, oh you're mean, bro. Nah, no, bro. You're still talking. Bro, it is steamy in here now. No, <laughs> oh, I can't breathe. We have one minute left. Stop serving. And stop serving. Stop serving. Stop serving. Stop stop serving. Stop serving. No. Goodbye, everyone. Bye. 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 Okay, last stop. Watford Stadium. Okay, camera's rolling up. And on three, two, one. So with a different nine sales. <laughs> okay, it's us. It could be us, really. Yeah. The winners of the first <laughs> and last, last. <laughs> and last <laughs> food truck road trip. It's Team Hot Dog. Yes! Well, that is a wrap on the main side of the video. The trucks are about to be de-rigged. We're going to pack it back up. I've got to account for all of my cameras to make sure they're coming back in one piece, and we've not missed any out because, as you've seen, there's been loads of cameras. So. I need them back. The trucks are here and we're gonna take them down. Downtown to Chinatown. <laughs>